Hello everybody and peace of Christ all of you please invite your friends and share the link with whoever you feel like today our topic is kind of a little bit different uh, we will speak about the dirty politics and politics is always dirty it doesn't matter how much you clean yourself today we have a lady here her name is uh, in front of us this is her account in YouTube her name is Kim Everson and obviously uh, miss uh, Kim Everson she is so extremely knowledgeable. She can tell you what's going to happen. She has a very special sense of the future. She can read your mind. She can tell you even what you will eat and even what you will do after you eat. So uh, uh, I saw, I don't know, YouTube suggest this video for me. I don't know why, but I mean, it was hilarious. I'm not going to play all of it, but just to give you an idea who we are talking about. This with Iran and Saudi Arabia and the looming potential war that we might be marching ourselves into. Well, Mike Pompeo is in Saudi Arabia meeting with the leaders of the kingdom, including the crown prince. And he actually is there to see evidence that this was the Iranians and to form a plan. Because remember what Trump said, that we are locked and loaded and we're just waiting for the kingdom to tell us what to do. Here's the tweet. Saudi Arabia oil supply was attacked. There is reason to believe that we know the culprit are locked and loaded, depending on verification, but are waiting to hear from the kingdom as to who they believe was the cause of this attack and under what terms we would proceed. Yeah, we're waiting for the kingdom to tell us whether or not we should go go to war. Okay, here you see how, you know, I mean, uh, obviously you have to be a low IQ uh, to believe in what she's just said because the tweet is in front of your face. Not only she have a low IQ, you have to be, you yourself, a low IQ to believe in what she said because the tweet in front of us. He is not saying... We are waiting for Saudi Arabia to tell us to march for war or not. He is saying we are waiting to see who is the one who did the attack. But we are waiting to hear from the kingdom. Let us read together. We are waiting to hear from the kingdom as to who they believe was the cause of the attack and the what and one and under what terms we would proceed so after we learn who is the one who attack we will see what we will do I and mean, why are you are lying that tweet is in front of us is that the food you eat is that the diet you take is that the tv you watch is that the perfume you use maybe the makeup Where he is saying Saudi Arabia is going to tell us when to march. And here we go. Saudi Arabia said that clearly it is Iran. Why Trump did not march? They hate the man. It doesn't matter what he do. If a Trump he do, instead of giving, you know, he go to the bathroom, if he dump his dump, even if it's perfume, they will not like it. Even if it's gold. They will say it is uh so it doesn't matter what this guy do this is the whole story now as long you are talking about saudi arabia and then she start talking about the war in yemen and if you look at the comment down i mean you they are hilarious let me show you the comment of those people who support this lady <clears throat> Nobody talk about 200,000 Yemeni civilian children killed by Saudi. Everybody is worried about the kingdom oil, oil, oil. 807 like. Okay, let me ask you. The killing of the Saudi to the Yemeni civilian started since 2015, which means two years before Trump became a president. Let me guess who was the president at that time? Who was the president at that time? It was not a Trump. Maybe it was Ivanka. 
No. Um, Bambino or the Prime Minister of Italy? It was Obama. So why Obama, after the attack of Yemen killing civilian, he agreed to sell Saudi Arabia a huge deal of weapon? And how come none of you open his mouth? The invasion of Saudi Arabia is in 2015. Who was the president at that time? Obama. And what Obama he did after that? He put sanctions on Saudi Arabia? No. Obama administration arms sales offers the Saudi of 115 billion deal. The biggest deal ever in the history of USA. How come? Which year is that? 2016. Do you see it? 2016. So, a Trump supporting Saudi Arabia is a bad guy. Obama offering them the biggest deal in history of our actually Obama based on this is the biggest arm dealer in the history of USA Hello So why it was okay in the time of Obama nobody opened his mouth Hillary Clinton was going backward, forward, like a, like a falafel sandwich in the hand of the Saudi at that time. Why nobody speak against the human right in Saudi Arabia? If you go down a little bit in the comment section, you will find even here more hilarious comments. So what of the Iranian weapons? I mean, I think you want to say have weapons. Good. Saudi are using American weapon to bomb Yemeni civilian children on a school. Okay, so the Iranian they can bomb children too. A question: Why suddenly the Democrat they are so much defending Iran? Iran execute gays, lesbian, apostate from Islam. They force women not you know I mean they, there is big humiliation for women. Women right is not exist in Iran. Why you are so much? I mean, you do, know you remember Yemen? And by the way, do you know who is the Saudi fighting in Yemen? Al Houthi. Do you know who's Al Houthi? Al Houthi, I can show you 10,000 million videos of Al Houthi. Each time they shoot at the Saudi, do you know what they scream? They say, Death to America, death to Israel. Actually, not to Israel, to be honest. The Jews. You are defending who? U.S. has five military base in Saudi Arabia. Can anyone believe that neither the U.S. or Saudi Arabia has a radar on any protection? Uh, my friend, uh, brother, uh, uh, brother, uh, don't you know that uh, uh, radar cannot catch those small uh, uh, airplanes? And obviously, your radar is not working. Hello? The only one who can hunt them is the Russian. Thanks to Obama, he made the USA technology behind. So the only technology now can hunt such a drone is the Russian. This is why everybody want to buy the Russian weapon, even your friends, the dictator Erdogan, who have more than 200,000 political prison, prisoners. Sorry. Yet Obama never spoke against him, and he shake hands with him. And by the way, as long as Saudi are bad, did Obama bow down to the king of Saudi Arabia? Like Obama for eight years as a president, he did not notice that this king is a bad king and this kingdom is a bad kingdom. 
the king of Saudi Arabia started bombing Yemeni, as you say, killing children. So the king of Saudi Arabia, he received the respect of Obama and Obama, he bowed down. He is not bowing down to receive like a medal of honor. No, he is almost kissing his hand. Why none of you strike in the road against this visit? And guess what? When Obama, he went to the airport in Saudi Arabia, there was two people waiting for him. As if he's a guy working in a, in a Starbucks. The president of USA going to Saudi Arabia, this is how much they disrespect you, Democrat, because they knew that all about what you want is money. You see, Trump, he forced them to pay money. He want money too, but not for his pocket. He wanted for America. You, Democrat, you want the money for your pocket. And this is why Obama is bowing down. By the way, the Saudi are really, really dangerous. And they are a very bad regime family. So why Hillary Clinton, she received millions of dollars donation from the royal family of Saudi Arabia? Huh? Any Muslim want to tell us? How many millions Saudi Arabia received from, oh sorry, Hillary Clinton received from Saudi Arabia? This is your newspaper, New York Times. You see, this is the official newspaper of fake news. For sure, after CNN. Saying that the Saudi donate more than 10 million to your corrupt Hillary Clinton. Okay, hold on, hold on. This is when? 2016. Okay. So, Saudi Arabia start killing civilian in Yemen in 2015. In 2016, at the end of 2016, Hillary Clinton, she received donation from the king of Saudi And not only that, she said that, Hillary, she said, uh, that Trump is covering up for the killing of Khashoggi. So at that time, she was receiving donation for what purpose? Do you think people, they give money for nothing? Who is, who is, uh, who is, who is Hillary Clinton? She is a priest. She is a Christian minister. She is who? Like, I mean, people, they can give a free money for donation for somebody to a missionary, like a, a religious missionary. Hillary Clinton is a political person, is a politician. So when she received 10,000, sorry, 10,000 million, not dollar, million, not thousand, 10 million dollars, for what? What is the return? Or what about the donation she received from Qatar or from the king of Morocco? I mean, the king of Morocco, go and see the king, the, 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 the prime minister or the, the prince of Qatar is officially a terrorist. He's an official terrorist. He fund terrorism. But I want to show you how smart this lady is. This lady, uh, this is the video. She is a great, I mean, she, her knowledge is astonishing. Now she will teach us about Islam. Do you want to hear? Do you want to hear? You will not believe it how much she know. I thought, you know, for a second, I thought I need to study again. Listen to this. All of these other wars that we've been picking, all of these conflicts we've been marching ourselves into had nothing to do with terror, had everything to do with the war for oil. Okay, do we have oil in Afghanistan? Uh, no. Did we get the oil of Iraq? No. So what oil we got? What is that? Where is our where is the oil of USA? Even since the attack of Iraq was coming from, it's from Saudi Arabia, not from Iraq. And if we get oil from any place, we pay for it. They are 
are like kids. This is this is what happened to your kids when they go to stupid school. They grow stupid. Listen more. Ideology is a form of extreme radical Islam and a form of Sunni Muslim, which is already a minority. There's Shia Muslims and Sunni Muslims. Sunni are my are minority. There's more Shias in the. They, there's more what? The, what what? What 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 what? The Sunni are minority, and the Shia are majority. And there's more Sunni than Shia. I mean, you have to be, I mean, like you are the one we should learn from. I mean, who is this guy, Christian Prince? You know nothing. What what you said? With the war for oil. Ideology is a form of extreme radical Islam. And a form of Sunni Muslim, which is already a minority. There's Shia Muslims and Sunni Muslims. Sunni are my mi are minority. There's more Shias in the world. Absolutely true. I mean, this is very uh, well known, brother. I mean, uh, this. Uh, oh. Do you see? Do, 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 do you see? This is the one who will teach you what is right, what's wrong. She is so fool. Sorry to say the word because fool, they will sue me for that. To the point she is saying that there is more Shia than Sunni in the world. So where do you spend your life studying? Oh, I forgot you are a Democrat. I mean, pfft. I mean, what you expect? What you expect? This is the woman she want to teach me about what's happening in the Middle East. And she is what? Radical Islam? What radical Islam? What is that? They keep saying radical Islam, radical Islam. This is a political correctness, a stupid statement. There's nothing it's called radical Islam. Islam is radical. What radical Islam is what Muhammad teach, right? Okay, Muhammad was radical Islam. So there's no other Islam. The Quran says beat the women. Is that radical Islam? The Quran says cut hands. Is that radical Islam? The Quran says kill your enemy. Is that radical Islam? Yes, this is Islam, my friend. There's not radical. Islam is radical. This is what happened. You get when you get a, your, your knowledge from a foolish person. Don't let those people fool you. They are just a mouth. To say foolish words. Do she listen even to herself? And by the way, uh, let me go back to the comment because the comments are hilarious, really. Let's continue. Uh, Tulsi is the only one candidate who uh, think uh, peace is important. Without her, we will lose. They want to have peace with who? Hold on, hold on. You want to have peace with who? With who? With who? With who exactly? What? Uh, I don't know. Peace is important. Where? And by the way, how many war Trump he launched already? He's a president already for good time almost he is going his, his presidency will be over until now he did not launch any war in anyone what peace and during the time of obama he launched hundreds of attacks within one month and he killed tens of thousands of civilians in afghanistan nobody opened his mouth If you cannot defend against Houthi, how you can defend against Iran? Okay, and this guy is a smart. He's saying, okay, if you cannot fight a Houthi, okay, what the Houthi? Who is the Houthi? They are a terrorist group. So USA should not support Saudi Arabia who uh, uh, fighting a terrorist group saying death to the American, death to the Jews. If you support the Saudi, you are supporting who? Supporting somebody fighting the Houthi. Who is the Houthi? Those people they believe that every eh, America have to be demolished. They are the student of the Iranian. They are their militant like Hezbollah. 
and what they say I can show you right now videos of them screaming saying death to the American and death to the Jews and this is what they are in and they scream every day and yet Obama he gave them billions of dollars for free 15 of 19 we're Saudi doing 9 11 not one Iraqi not one Afghani I wake wake up people okay let me ask you as long 19 of them they were Saudi so why you Democrat did not cut your relationship with the Saudi why Obama he made the biggest deal in of arm in history with the Saudi why he go to visit them why he shake hands with them I'm oh, sorry he did not shake hands he bowed down kissing their hand and then one of them he said something about killing Khashoggi you know uh, Khashoggi by the way I will not be surprised if most of those uh, 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 people who post support in Iran they are from the regime of Iran they have a huge machine it's 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 electronic army to spread things in the internet to control the mindset of the American and if the Democrat don't believe me aren't you the one who say that the Russian they are involved in the election I mean you are stupid to the point to say that the Russian they made the Trump won so if the Russian can make a Trump won well Iran can make Hillary lose or won or can make Biden win because obviously you Democrat you are in love in here with Iran so the Iranian will support you Trump is putting all the sanctions he can do on Iran while Obama while he filled up a big airplane with billions of dollars and he ship it to Iran for free and then they talk about Khashoggi they say, okay, well, they say, oh, you they kill Khashoggi, huh? Like, well, do you know who's Khashoggi? This guy is a terrorist. He's what? He is a terrorist. Why the Democrat? They are so much in love with Khashoggi. There's tens of thousands of people in the Middle East get killed. Two million in Syria alone. By the arms which Obama, he sent to the terrorist. And you are crying for Khashoggi. Now you remember there's a guy, his name is Khashoggi. So two million Syrian, hundreds of thousands of them are Christians. And we respect all life, no matter if they are Christians or Muslims. Yet none of you says to Obama, why well, you are sending arms to the terrorist? Why Khashoggi became so important? I will tell you why. Because Qatar, is behind all the game the Muslim Brotherhood he is a Muslim Brotherhood and the Muslim Brotherhood is Qatar and who is Qatar the biggest money bag in the world but if we check who is Khashoggi we will find that Khashoggi is nothing but a terrorist is that right this is Khashoggi. Do you see him, brother? The Democrat, they are fighting for him. We want the one who killed Khashoggi. Khashoggi is a criminal, terrorist. He is in the picture with Osama, with the founder of Al Qaeda, not Osama bin Laden, which is more important than Osama. He is carrying an RBG in Afghanistan wearing the Mujahideen clothes and he is smiling taking selfie with the terrorist this is your Khashoggi and hold on we are not done Khashoggi then he took a job with the Saudi intelligence what does that mean Khashoggi is a Saudi intelligence secret service agent what does that mean God knows how many people he assassinate himself 
He is not a journalist. So let us say the Saudi, they killed an agent who used to work for them. Hmm. Sound like a James Bond movie, right? He's a criminal. And he is one of them. One of the government of Saudi Arabia. If the Saudi was bad, why this guy, he worked for them? In where? In the intelligence department. To do what exactly? What people they do in the intelligence of Saudi Arabia? As you see, they send them to embassies to cut people pieces. So how many people Jamal Khashoggi he cut when he was alive, before it was his turn? You know what I mean? Why they killed him? Because he joined the the the, the Muslim Brotherhood, and he his you know his he turned against them. As simple as that. Muslim Brotherhood, they want to take over the kingdom. The Muslim Brotherhood, explain many times. The Muslim Brotherhood, by the help of Obama, and I believe strongly that Obama himself is a Muslim Brotherhood. Obama is the first one to ask the president of Egypt, who, are, who is a dictator and the USA friend for 30 years, to come down to place him with the president, he is from the Muslims Brotherhood. Not only that, he threat Egypt with action and sanctions if they don't let, if they don't go down. And Obama is the first to say hello, Mr. Morsi, the president of Egypt, who is a Muslim Brotherhood. Because the plan was very simple. Let me open the plan again or explain it again. What we can do. <clears throat> Muslim Brotherhood, by the help of Obama, and if you don't believe that Obama, he is one of them, will explain to me why in his time, they flourish like crazy. Look what happened. This is the map in the front of you. What happened during eight years of Obama? This is what happened exactly. Al-Qaeda, which is born of the Muslim Brotherhood. Al-Qaeda, by the way, all members of Al-Qaeda, they are Muslim Brotherhood, including Osama bin Laden. Osama bin Laden, al dawari the founder of Al-Qaeda, Khashoggi, all of them, they are Muslims Brotherhood. Same organization. Look what happened. Turkey is already now is under the Muslim Brotherhood. In case you do not know, Erdogan is a Muslim Brotherhood. And he is a leader in this party. The plan of Obama was very simple. We are going to make the Muslim Brotherhood take over all this territory. Syria have a huge number of members of Muslim Brotherhood. So when the civil war started in Syria, Obama right away, he sent more than $500 million arm to the Muslim Brotherhood. When the revolution started in Libya, the only one who went to Libya is Hillary Clinton to meet with who she met only one guy he is the head of the Muslims Brotherhood and this is why the USA ambassador was killed because as other terrorist groups they felt that America they chose their friend it is the Muslim Brotherhood so they decide to take action then when people went in the street against Hosni Mubarak the friend of USA Obama right away he joined the Muslim Brotherhood plan to take over and they made the system and the dictator of Egypt collapse and right away they replace him with the Muslim Brotherhood what is left Jordan Jordan is a very easy system to destroy the guy the king is bankrupt and most of the country is a Muslim Brotherhood So what was the plan? 
the plan to establish a caliphate state starting from Turkey, going through Syria, going through Jordan, going through Egypt, all the way to Libya. But the plan was not only that. The Saudi, they discover a queue against them, and the same as the Emirati. This is why they turn against the Muslim Brotherhood. So the plan was to take over Saudi Arabia, and they became so powerful in Saudi Arabia. And if they took Saudi Arabia, and they have already the money of Qatar in their pocket because the Prince of Qatar is one of the leaders of the Muslim Brotherhood. And they took off our Emirat because Emirat have seven ministers in their government. They used to be Muslim Brotherhood. Imagine how much powerful they are. Actually, right now in Kuwait, most of the ministers of Kuwait are Muslims Brotherhood. So you can imagine how big and how powerful this organization is. So this is what was the plan will be by the help of Obama. They want to take over all this territory, establishing a powerful, sorry, not from here, from here, a powerful caliphate state. From here, Qatar, Emirate, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Libya and Sudan and then they will go to Algeria and to Morocco so that will be alone more than 200 million population in the same time they control most of the oil of the earth and the gas so the Muslim Brotherhood they will dominate and they will control everything in this earth when we speak about energy well thanks to Trump the first thing he did he allowed the American to dig so now we don't need really their oil and they cannot affect us this is the plan of Obama and by the way I forgot Tunis because the Muslim Brotherhood took over Tunis too look how big the plan is look how big how many countries And why they started the war in Syria? Why Obama, if you a Democrat against killing civilian, do you know how many people get killed? And why you arm them? Why you arm those people who they are killing civilians? There is a Republican and he is a fraud his name is John McCain he died he went to Syria and he took pictures with the terrorist and not only that he came back to tell us they told him they were shouting Allahu Akbar he started saying what's, what's wrong with Allahu Akbar it's mean Allah is a great God is a great which is false Allahu Akbar is a scream Muhammad he ordered his followers to scream it to install terror in the heart of the enemy The same exactly they did the Democrat with Osama bin Laden. They went to Osama bin Laden, they trained the CIA, they sent the CIA, they trained his army, they trained his men. And then Al Qaeda, which is the train of USA, killed the American. The same happened in Syria, the same happened in Egypt, the same happened in Libya. You arm them, they kill you. Because Democrats are a bunch of fools. And by the way, not only the Democrat, there's a lot of Republicans who they have the same stupidity too. Stupidity is a major influence in the USA. They are stupid in history. They are stupid in religion. They are stupid in, the, in, in, in what's happening there and what this war is about. Like, you know, they think that this is a war between Saudi Arabia. This is not the war between Saudi Arabia and Iran. Iran is trying to dominate And the aim is destruction of USA. You see, the Iranian regime, when the, when the student in Iran every morning, they stand up in the school, they don't say death to the Saudi. No, they don't. They don't scream death to Canada or to Australia. They say death to America, death to Israel. This is their aim. This is their car target. And by the help of Obama, 
Iran right now is not, uh, we have to be honest here, not only Obama, the stupid George Bush. Uh, George Bush is an official stupid. Look what George Bush he did. George Bush, he attacked Iraq. And what is the reason? Eh, stupid reason. It's just to make a war and to make deals, you know, arm deals for the corporation. It is for the sake of money, for sure. But not for the sake of oil, because we got no oil from there. But the Iraqi war made many corporations earn trillions of dollars, not billions. Okay, we went to Iraq, we took Saddam Hussein, and what happened? The Shia took over. So Iraq now is a Shia because Iraq, the majority of the country, is Shia. What does that mean? Iran is not Iran no more. Iran became all of this. Okay, so now Iran became bigger and more powerful. Right now in Iraq, there's more than 400,000 fighters from the Iraqi Shia. They get paid, trained by Iran. And then Obama, he continued the stupidity. He supported the war in Syria. So Iran, they send more than 200,000 troops into Syria. So now what happened? Iran is not in Iran no more. Iran is in Syria. This is Iran today. And not only that, because Iran is planning to dominate, they took over Yemen. This is why the Saudi they launched a war, because the Saudi they are surrounded now. Iran is taking over every place. Spreading Shia cult belief, the same as the Sunni cult belief, and taking over countries, and then they transform those countries into terrorist Hezbollah group. So Al Houthi in Yemen now, what they scream when they shoot, the same as in Iran death to America, death to the Jews. And Iran now is establishing camps of training for arms and like uh, for terrorists in all over Africa. All over Africa, including Nigeria, in Central uh, uh, Republic of Africa, uh, 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 wherever you go, Burkina Faso, everywhere. Because the plan of Iran is to take over. Iran now have a big terrorist group in Afghanistan, sponsored by them. So look what the American they were doing. They were fighting all those ta the years Taliban, but Taliban they were fighting the terrorists of the Shia. So we literally we were defending Taliban from the Shia. Or it sounds like now we are defending the Shia terrorists from Taliban. But the fact, it's the same. So it's more than what Republican and Democrat they say to you in TV. Both of them, they lie to you. The story is way bigger. This is not a war about oil. This is a holy religious war between two Islamic sects. For Trump, it's a business. For them, it is a religion. For you, this lady who is on YouTube, it is uh, makeup and lipstick. Everything for you is about oil. What oil? We do not need oil. Actually, USA now is number, number one producer for oil in the world. What oil? We do not need their oil. We don't buy their oil. We spoke about Turkey. Turkey is a terrorist regime. I mean, look at those Democrats, how hypocrite they are. All their friends in the Middle East are terrorists. When Hillary Clinton, she went to Libya to meet with the Muslim Brotherhood, and who is Muslim Brotherhood? Aren't they the one who killed, the one who signed the peace agreement with Israel? Yes, they are. 
they kill tens of thousands of uh, Christians. When the revolution started in Egypt, the Muslim Brotherhood, they start burning churches everywhere in Egypt. What does this have to do with the president? Why are you attacking and burning churches? Killing Christians? Turkey right now is sponsoring Al-Qaeda and protecting Al-Qaeda. The only one is fighting Al-Qaeda is Russia. Everybody knows. And they are not ashamed to say it. You know, when Billy Clinton, I don't want to forget this, when Billy Clinton was busy in his office with Monica Lewinsky doing boom, boom. Hmm? Why you Democrat voted for him again? The guy is convicted for, uh, for, for, uh, with felony. He even took an oath in the front of the court falsely, which anyone he, of us will do it. We stay in jail for at least five years. But if you are from the family of Clinton, you can do that. And you don't go to jail. When Hillary, she erased all the evidence, which is not her property. This is a property of USA government. If I do that, I will go to jail at least five years too. But Clinton, they force everybody not to investigate her. And when they do investigate, they come with the conclusion, but she is not worth, I mean, the crime she commit is not really a crime. When Clinton, he attacked a beautiful country, it's called Serbia, joining force with terrorist which is al-qaeda where are you democrat no civilian was killed and why you joined the terrorist and right away after the terrorists have victory by the help of usa they start burning churches killing civilian everywhere more than 10,000 civilian Christians in Serbia was killed by the order of the filthy criminal Billy Clinton. Are you proud about it? So the Democrat people, they are people who remember civilian when they want, they forget about them when they want. How many Christians are executed in Saudi Arabia for converting to Christianity during the time of Obama? I don't tell me you do not know about it. Even actually, the Department of State or Foreign Ministry, they have uh, the, the, there's a human rights department. They release every year about human rights violation of Saudi Arabia. Why you did not put sanctions in Saudi Arabia? Instead, you go to Saudi Arabia, you fly there, you kiss their hands, and you sell them one point. What? How, how much? How much? How much? How much? 115 billion and this is in the year 2016 two years after attacking Yemen and uh, how many years after attacking Syria and arming because Saudi they were arming terrorists in Syria too the same as Qatar everybody knows actually there's a video of a guy his name Joe bite me I don't know if you know him they call him in America Joe bite me I call him Joe bite me because this guy always when you talk he bite by his stupidity he says, our friends in Qatar and Emirat and Saudi Arabia, they, we have to admit that they armed the wrong ones and they armed the terrorists. Go and watch the video. So after they armed the terrorists in Syria, Al-Qaeda and ISIS, and after more than seven years of war in Syria, you sell them $115 billion weapon? Hypocrisy is amazing. Jews are outlawed. What Jews? There's no Jews in Saudi Arabia. There's no Jews, there's no Christian. There's no gays, there's no Lesbian. This is a very democratic country. It's called Saudi Arabia. And you see, those people, they remember Saudi Arabia as a, as a country of dictatorship and human rights violation only now. But when Obama and Hillary Clinton, they were shaking hands with them, and how many wedding Hillary Clinton she attend? 
What she have to do with Saudi Arabia? You know, there is an Indian rich man. Anyone remember his name? He have a wedding party for his daughter. Do you know who attend? I mean, it's a shame. Hillary Clinton, John Kerry. I mean, what do you have to do with this rich man just because he's rich? That's simple as that. It's money. It is about money. Why Hillary Clinton need to go there? Why Billy Clinton need to go and attend the wedding of a rich man? They receive an invitation. Go and see what they charge. Jimmy Carter, he charged $60,000 for a speech in any way. Just give him. Same as Billy Clinton. They are very, very money worshippers. They have no dignity. Just because the guy is a rich man. All of you, you go to his daughter. So if I have a daughter now, I want to invite Hillary Clinton. She will come to my wedding? No. Where well, she will come? I don't have money. This is the truth. This is the truth. No money. They say in America, no money, no honey. Why all of them, they go to the Indian wedding? What do you have to do with this guy in India? Is he a prime minister? Is he? No, he's a rich man. Very, 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 very rich man. As simple as that. Uh, let me let me show for, uh, look for the news uh, so people will not say I'm making things up. I mean, uh, you know, they might say, where do you get this from? This is a rumor. This is not a true. All right? Hold on, let me let me find the. Uh, I will put for you something to relax. Uh, I don't know. I forgot the name of this Indian uh, businessman. Who was there in the wedding? Let me see what this name guy, what this guy name. Okay, what's his name, what's his name? He is India richest man. Who is who is that in the picture? Who 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 is this? Uh -huh. Is that a Clinton? Is that the job of a Clinton to attend wedding parties? And why they invited her? Oh, by the way, she's not the only one. John Kerry was there. Many 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 politicians of USA they came there. Why? What they have to do with this guy? Is a family maybe? Uh, maybe he's her cousin. Uh, I forgot. Uh, Hillary Clinton originally she was born in the Spice Land. She's spicy, by the way. Why they are there? John Kerry, Hillary Clinton. I mean, every every corrupt leader in USA is there for a very simple reason. Where is uh, John Kerry? Hold on. John, uh, John Kerry. Uh, we cannot close this page now. You know those pages? You open them, you cannot close them no more. John Kerry. I don't know even how to say his name. Attend wedding... I mean, for sure they will attend. I mean, why not? Why not? I mean, are you kidding me? This is, we are rich. All of them, they will come. What is the news says? This is a video in YouTube. 
جون كيري هيلاري كلينتون among guests at uh, whatever Indian wedding. Do you see it? Hillary Clinton and John Kerry dance like Bollywood stars. I'm really impressed. They dance like Bollywood stars. I mean, we were going to make the right choice for America. Hillary Clinton and John Kerry, they were almost going to be president. Do you see how, 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 how disgusting this is? Just because the guy is rich, you go? Yes, he's rich. He invited them. They want to go have fun. Free airplane, free drink, and they will have a, a, a royal suite. And God knows what, how much money they will get for coming. But remember, brother, the guy, he owned $43 billion. I mean, come on. If a Christian prince... He, uh, one day, he became rich and he owned $200,000. Do you think Hillary Clinton will come to his wedding? No way. What 200000 Come on. This is the chair of her twilight seat. Her daughter, she spent more in her wedding night for one night, I think a million or two million dollars. I forgot to show you the number. Just for wedding party. Where the money is coming from? Where does people make money? How somebody work for government all his life, her and her husband, where they can afford to spend such a money in a wedding for their daughter. I understand that this guy is a rich man from India. He is not a government official. But where those people, their money came from? John Biden, or Joe Biden, his son, he been given a job while his father is the vice president in Ukraine to one of the biggest oil companies. Ah, because his son eh, have a qualification. Why not your son? Why the son of the vice? Isn't it obvious that it's a bribe? Isn't it really obvious? Imagine if a Trump, his son, was offered a job by the Saudi now. Now, for the biggest firm, a company, and by the way, like Trump, at least his, his family, they are in business, they are billionaires already. But this guy, why did they choose him? So we have to be honest. I don't support many things Trump he do. I believe that in America we never have a smart leader. And that happened in purpose. The only smart thing about them is how to make fun of us. And the American people, they are good people, but they are naive. They learn their future from a woman like this, from this lady. Those are the ones who will be future leaders in the USA. I will not be surprised if one day the American, they made her a president. Just wait. Soon you will see the daughter of a Trump, of sorry, of Obama, going for a president. Soon the daughter of Trump, Ivanka, she want to be a president. Clinton, the father, Clinton, Clinton, the wife, Clinton, the daughter. We are living in the time of dictatorship. And yet they call themselves democratic. Kennedy, the father, Kennedy the son, Kennedy the brother, this guy, he is a governor of this, and that guy, he became a governor of that, and the family business. George Bush the father, George Bush the son, and supposedly this is America, and we are not living in a dictator land. Americans are very naive, sadly. And we showed you how this lady, she is teaching us information about Islam that uh, that what is a form of extreme radical Islam and a form of Sunni Muslim which is already a minority there's Shia Muslims than Sunni Muslims Sunni are my are minority there's more Shias in the world I mean, yeah, come on we know that the Sunni are minority and there is more Shia I'm sure that Muslims are dying from laughing at you now who is the one who put you in TV 
and she have a hundred thousand something subscribers <laughs> I mean what's wrong with people nobody want to use his brain no more Sunni are the minority, Shia are the majority. Who, who, what is that? Is that a comedy show? You know, John Bite Me, who is the most stupid person ever in the history of USA, did not say that. You did beat him. You just did beat the most stupid person in USA. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to share this with you. Hey, by the way, the numbers they show you in uh, in uh, in YouTube, I mean in uh, internet, about Sunni or ninety percent. This is not true, too. This is very false, because you see, the Sunni first of all, Sunni are not one sect. Secondly. There is not only Shia and Sunni in the world. That's a stupid lie. Shia are many sections and Sunni are many sections. And there is many other Muslim belief. So the number of the Sunni, I can say, maybe 60 to 70 percent. Maybe. And the numbers they give you, like they are 1.8 billion, it's a lie. Because they are calculating, as an example, they calculate the biggest country, Indonesia, as the whole country as a Christian. But I mean, as Muslims, but in Indonesia, there is more than 40 million Christians. 40 million. They add them to the total population. And the same goes for all countries and the rest. So this calculation is a, is a, is a, is a fake. But, but anyway, we have to be careful not to take our information from a bunch of idiots who take their information from Twitter, from nothing wrong, by the way, with the Twitter, but you have to investigate what people say to you. And those who they are like fighting for this guy, the Khashoggi, why do we don't want to remember that Khashoggi was a terrorist? And shouldn't you question how, how, how an American newspaper, they hire a terrorist? Everything in this earth is upside down unless somebody stand up and say the truth and these days if you say the truth The whole world will go against you You have to be hypocrite. You have to be corrupt. You have to be a liar You have to say what people like to hear otherwise they will you know, I mean you, you are going to suffer I cannot keep my videos in YouTube because of what I say if I speak like this woman, my YouTube will never go down. Every few days I have to delete the videos I make. Do you know the reason? The reason is simple. Because of what I say. Not because I like to delete my videos. I'm spending time from my life to make those videos. Why I want to delete them? The truth is very clear. The second you start being honest is the same second they will go and they will gang against you. You have to be politically correct. You have to be hypocrite. Say what people, what they like to know. Okay, what, what, what is today is in the media. If you speak against the cult of Islam, they call you Islamophobic. When the fact Islam is the phobia. Islam have a phobia from the pig, from dogs, from a Christian, from the cross, from the Jews, from the Hindus, from the atheists, from the gays, from the lesbian. And yet when we attack, this is such a cult, they say we are phobia. <laughs> we are the phobia. Stupidity, my friend. Stupidity. 
this is the enemy we are fighting I'm not fighting people I don't hate people I will never hate anyone I don't hate Muslims I don't hate atheists I don't hate anyone I hate stupidity ignorance the Bible says my people being destroyed because of their ignorance because of what because of their ignorance because we love people they want we don't want them to be destroyed fight your ignorance my friend you see if you ask me oh, are you ignorant of some stuff a Christian prince oh yes I am ignorant as an example English someone he is a uh, uh, 12 years old in America he speak better English than me but that will not affect me to be a person who have intelligence or not English is not my first language I speak languages so there's an ignorance will not affect your decision in life and there's ignorance will destroy you otherwise all a human being they suffer from ignorance so my friend I want to just to share this video with you I have many work to do I'm going uh, you know I'm working and publishing through more books and I hope they will be soon out in this coming week we will have four more books of mine published in Amazon two in German and two in the Dutch language so I hope people will enjoy them and it's going to be uh, six and Allah in those languages uh, yeah I, I'm saying that you know being ignorant is not about English or it's uh, it's about you know okay we have to admit that we have some ignorance in some many issues in life right but there's an ignorance would will, will, will not shame you but there's an ignorance will shame you as an example this woman she's going and saying okay uh, Shia are uh, more than uh, the Sunni this is a shameful ignorance she is deceiving and she is either lying or deceiving choose one or she is an ignorant I don't know which one but yet you go and you speak in public teaching people you are the one who will educate us So how an ignorant can educate you? It's like a blind leading the blind. The blind. I'm not going to keep this video, but feel free to download it. I will keep it there for some time. You can download it so you can share it in your page as usual, in YouTube, wherever you want. And I want to say thank you. Tomorrow we have a new broadcast. It's going to be 3.30 p.m. New York time. So if you like to join us, it's going to be about the cross and a guy, his name Adnan uh, Rashid something. He was having a debate or he had a debate and we will speak about this topic. So tomorrow, uh, join us 3.30 p.m. Depend on your country. I don't know what country you are from. Now for sure, people who live in Indonesia, they will have a hard time to join us. But still, you can listen to the video later because it's going to be late for you. You see, I'm trying to be fair so I'm trying to divide my time sometime I do in the morning where Indonesian can join us Filipinos Indian etc we love them all and sometime we do it afternoon in USA time so American can join us uh, uh, European can join us to be fair with everybody right because uh, fighting ignorance have no limitation and no borders and all of us we are children of God no matter what language we speak no matter what the color of your skin if you are Asian or you are white if you are black or you are an Indian all of you are human all of you you have the same problem it is ignorance people die because of diseases or because of ignorance the fact not disease killing us it's our ignorance we do not know how to fight cancer it's ignorance millions of people die before because of a flu why because we were ignorant we do not know how to fight the flu it's not the disease killing us it is our ignorance you eat what is wrong and then you get wrong re result of what you eat ignorance 
Ignorance is the reason for every bad thing happening in our life, including even family problems, social problems, financial problems. It is ignorance. So my friend, fight with me against ignorance, not against people. Ignorance is our enemy. People are the victim of their ignorance. So thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you all. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you like what we do. And I will see you tomorrow. Christ is Lord. And everything else is false. No man, no woman, no philosopher, no wise above his wisdom. I find everything I need by his teaching and by his words. Every man he have his foolishness. Every woman she have her foolishness. But there is one person he don't have any. We arm ourselves by his words. Always, my friend, remember, if you depend on yourself, your knowledge is limited. But if you depend on the one who have unlimited knowledge, you are a really powerful person. If God is with us, who could be against us? And this is for the sake of all mankind, not against mankind. This is why Jesus, he said, Sabbath was made for the man, not man made for the Sabbath. So God, he came to save the whole world. Muslims, Christians, Hindus, atheists, Buddha, black, white, Asian, it doesn't matter for you all. God, he loves you. And that's why he came to save you. Wisdom is what we need. Knowledge is what we seek. And this is why Jesus said, read the books, search the books and find the truth. And the truth will set you free. Thank you. And see you soon again. Bye-bye.